It's Faith TV. Who made the world? Who made the world? The creation. Have you wondered how the world and man came into being? The Bible says in Genesis, In the beginning there was nothing in the world except God, and that it was God who by word of his mouth created everything in the world. God made the world, Almighty God made the world, God made the world, Almighty God made the world. Imagine an empty world with nothing except the Spirit of God. It was darkness until God said, let there be light. And right then, just like that, there was light. And God made day and night with the light. And it was the very first day. King of kings, he made the world. King of kings, he made the world. On the second day, God made the earth and created a blue sky, and God liked it. King of kings, he made the world, almighty God, he made the world. The third day, God organized the earth and put all the water in one place and all dry lands in another. He made plants and trees, and God saw that these were good and looking great. God made the world. Yes, He made the world. Almighty God made the world. Yes, He made the world. The fourth day, God made the sun to light the sky during the day, and the moon and stars to add sparkle to the night. He took the sun and the moon and hung them in the sky, just like that. And He loved it so far, but God was not done. God made the world. Yes, he made the world. Almighty God made the world. Yes, he made the world. The fifth day, God put life in the waters and the ocean, and with millions of small fish in shallow waters and large sea creatures in the ocean. He also made the birds to fly and soar in the sky, and God was loving it all. King of kings, he made the world. He made the world. On the sixth day, God created the creatures of the land, all the animals, big and small. Imagine the elephant and lion and the ducks and sheep and dogs. And these animals were happy, and so was God, loving everything he has made. Yet God was not done. King of kings, he made the world. Almighty God, he made the world. God then made man in his own image, and for man to take care of everything he has created. On the seventh day, God rested. Such a wonderful creator. Who made the world? King of kings, he made the world. King of kings, he made the world. God made the world. Who made the world? King of kings, he made the world. Almighty God, he made the world. God made the world. The story of Adam and Eve is a very important Bible story about trusting and obeying God's commands. But who is Adam and who is Eve? While today there are millions of men and women in the world, do you know there was a time when there was no man and woman in the world? Who was the very first man and the very first woman? Let's open the Bible and read about the creation of Adam and Eve. And let's find out if Adam and Eve trusted and obeyed God.
we go to Genesis chapter 2. At this time, God Almighty has created the heavens and the earth. And after God created the heavens and the earth, and had finished the work he had been doing, on the seventh day, God rested from all his work. Then God blessed the seventh day and made it holy, because on it he rested from all the work of creating that he had done. So resting is indeed a good thing. At this time, there was no shrub on the earth, and no plant had yet sprung up. For the Lord God had not sent rain on the earth, and there was no one to work the ground. So no farmers and all those things humans can do were not done by humans. The streams came up from the earth and watered the whole surface of the ground. Then the Lord God formed a man from the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. And the man became a living being. That man is Adam. Now the Lord God had planted a garden in the east, in Eden. And there he put the man he had formed. The Lord God made all kinds of trees grow out of the ground. Trees that were pleasing to the eye and good for food. In the middle of the garden were the tree of life and the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. The Lord God took the man and put him in the garden of Eden to work the land and take care of it. And the Lord God commanded the man, You are free to eat from any tree in the garden, but you must not eat from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. For when you eat from it, you will certainly die. Okay, just imagine that you are Adam no one to talk to, no family, no friends. Adam must have been very lonely. The Lord God said, It is not good for the man to be alone. I will make a helper suitable for him. Now, the Lord God had formed out of the ground all the wild animals and all the birds in the sky. He brought them to the man to see what he would name them. And whatever the man called each living creature, that was its name. So the pig, the cow, the lion, the roaster, and all the names of livestock, the birds in the sky, and all the wild animals were given to them by Adam, the first man. While we love animals and birds, we crave the relationship of a fellow human being, so none of these animals were suitable helper for Adam. So the Lord God caused a man to fall into a deep sleep. And while he was sleeping, he took one of the man's ribs and then closed up the place with flesh. Then the Lord God made a woman from the rib he had taken out of the man, and he brought her to the man. The man said, This is now bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman, for she was taken at a man. That is why a man leaves his father and mother and is united to his wife and they become one flesh. Adam and his wife were both naked and they felt no shame. 
Everything was going well so far. Now the serpent was craftier than any of the wild animals the Lord God had made. He said to the woman, Did God really say, You must not eat from any tree in the garden? The woman said to the serpent, We may eat fruit from the trees in the garden, but God did say, You must not eat fruit from the tree that is in the middle of the garden, and you must not touch it, or you will die. You will not certainly die, the serpent said to the woman, for God knows that when you eat from it, your eyes will be opened, and you will be like God, knowing good and evil. Eve needed to trust and obey the commandment of God. However, Eve looked at the forbidden fruit and saw that they looked fresh and delicious and also desirable for gaining wisdom. She took some and ate it. She also gave some to her husband, who was with her, and he ate it. Adam should have obeyed the commandment of God, but he fell into the temptation. Then the eyes of both of them were opened, and they realized they were naked, so they sewed fig leaves together and made coverings for themselves. Then the man and his wife heard the sound of the Lord God as he was walking in the garden in the cool of the day. And they hid from the Lord God among the trees of the garden. But the Lord God called to the man, Where are you? He answered, I heard you in the garden, and I was afraid because I was naked, so I hid. And he said, Who told you that you were naked? Have you eaten from the tree that I commanded you not to eat from? The man said, The woman you put here with me, she gave me some fruit from the tree, and I ate it. Then the Lord God said to the woman, What is this you have done? The woman said, A serpent deceived me, and I ate. So Adam tried to blame Eve for making him eat the fruit, and Eve blamed the serpent for deceiving her, but they had both still disobeyed him. God punished the serpent by taking away his legs, making all serpents crawl on their bellies in the dirt for all time and making them man's enemies. God punished Adam and Eve by banishing them from the Garden of Eden. There are consequences when we disobey God, but when we walk with the Lord in the light of his word, what a glory he sheds on our way. While we do his good will, he abides with us still, and with all who will trust and obey. In this Bible story, Adam and Eve should have obeyed the Lord, but they disobeyed, even when they knew it was wrong to disobey God. In our lives, we may face temptations just as Eve. Always remember to resist doing bad things, Sometimes doing a bad thing may look like a good choice and sound like fun or have an immediate gain, but there are consequences for disobedience. When we trust and obey, not a shadow can rise, not a cloud in the skies, but his smile quickly drives it away. Not a doubt or a fear, not a sigh or a tear can abide while we trust and obey. Before you do something, ask yourself if it is a good thing. If anyone will be disappointed, let us pray for the grace of God to be obedient. Dear Jesus, you have proclaimed that if we love you, we will keep your commandments. To walk with you is to avoid sin. Your sheep know your voice. I am your little lamb, and I will follow you wherever you go. Increase my trust in you and your commands. Let my ears ever be listening to your voice. Help me to trust you as my only shepherd. Confident that you will keep me from all harm and danger. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.
Hi, Kids Faith TV creates Christian songs and animated videos about Jesus and the Almighty God. Click the subscribe button and be the first to know when we publish new videos. I hope you enjoy our videos. Click the like and share our videos. Thank you for your support.